video, I thought it would be kind of fun to give you guys a little bit of a look at what it takes for me to prepare for a Sunday morning service. Everything that I have to go through from choosing music to actually getting everything set to play on Sunday morning. So the first thing that I have to do when it comes to preparing a service is I have to choose um, two pieces to play, one before the service and one after. Now these pieces have different titles that they're given in different churches. Here we call them the prelude, which goes before the service, and the postlude, which goes after the service. The prelude is generally, but not always, something that's a little bit more quiet, something more contemplative, um, and the postlude is something that's louder, joyful, bombastic, um, and these can change, um, you know, based on the time of year, based on um, things that I've been working on. So, you know, I, I don't always have to do a quiet prelude, which, which is very nice from time to time. Um, but those are, those are kind of the general guidelines that I work with when I'm doing this. So, as far as picking that music, I really have kind of four different sources of inspiration that I can draw from. The first is my own repertoire. I have a very large um, body of classical music that I have learned over the years and just kind of sits there waiting for me to use um, in church. And so that's, that's kind of the first place that I look at, you know, what have I played in the past and would be appropriate. The second thing that I can look at is the scripture for the day. This is, um, we usually have two scripture readings um, from week to week and they're, they're tied in with what the pastor is preaching on. And that's, that's usually the second place that I will go to kind of tie in to what we're doing. The, the third source that I can go to is the hymns that we're doing. We sing two to three hymns every Sunday, and sometimes it's kind of fun to do a prelude or postlude that's based off of one of those hymns. It gives something that people out in the congregation can recognize and kind of identify with a little bit more. Be like, oh hey, we just sang that. Um, and then the fourth thing uh, that I can go to is the, the season of the church year that we're in. Um, this would be something like Lent or Advent or a specific holiday. Now, this weekend for me is Memorial Day. You guys are going to be seeing that um, after it's happened. But this is, this is Memorial Day weekend here in the U.S. Um, so patriotic stuff is, is not off limits this week. Um, I know there are some organists and some churches out there who frown on patriotic music. Um, but I think that it, it can be perfectly appropriate if it's, if it's played in a worshipful sense. Um, so that's something else that we can look at for this week. So choose, when, I, when I choose my pieces, I typically do this on Wednesday or Thursday, um, the, the week before. This varies from week to week, and if I have some bigger things that I'm working on, sometimes I plan those a little bit farther out. But this week I don't have anything set. Um, I do have our uh, sample bulletin for this week, um, which will, which we can take a look at everything that we've got and kind of choose our pieces from there. So we'll ignore repertoire for the minute. We'll, we'll come back to that because you're going to get to see some of what my library looks like in this video. So I said the second thing we look at is the scripture. So. The two scripture lessons that we have for this week are um, Romans 12 and Ruth chapter 1. Now, I'm not going to read these out, but um, just taking a brief look at it. So, Romans 12, um, this section that we're looking at is defining the marks or the characteristics of a true Christian. Um, and then the passage from Ruth. This first chapter in Ruth kind of tells the story of how um, Ruth came to end up living with her mother-in-law, Naomi, in Bethlehem, and just kind of gives the backstory and sets the stage for the rest of Ruth's story. So that's um, something that I can keep in mind as we look in this. Um, doesn't really give me a ton to work with, um, so hopefully our hymns are kind of related to that. Um, that's a video for another day, how you take a couple of scripture readings and choose hymns that are appropriate to that. But we will, we'll skip over that part today. I don't actually choose the hymns in this church. Um, so taking a look at the three hymns that we have this week. The first is God of the Ages, Whose Almighty Hand. Um, I'm going to 
go ahead and just play a little bit of that for you. So that one sounds like this. second hymn is Spirit, Open My Heart, and this is one that the Pew edition of the hymnal doesn't give me any chords, um, or doesn't give the, the four voice texture. I do have some chord symbols and a melody, so this one sounds like this. <laughs> And then our closing song is This Is My Song, it's set to the tune of Finlandia by Jean Sibelius. And this is one that you might recognize. That's not it. That's it. <laughs> example of where I can pull my repertoire because I actually have a transcription of the original orchestral piece by Sibelius. Um, it's also it's one of my favorite pieces to play on the organ. There's just a couple of things with that. One, that's not a piece I can pull together in three days. Um, so that's the first thing. Two, I'm also in the middle of preparing for a recital so I don't have a ton of extra time to be working on music. And three, that's a 12-minute piece, and that's a little on the long side for a prelude or a postlude. So we will, I'll have to come back to that one, because um, I do enjoy playing that piece. So that's what we have, and then of course we already talked about the fact that it's Memorial Day. So let's go take a look at my library and see if we can come up with something for a prelude and postlude. So to start off, we're not going very far. I, um, I have a little bit of a cubby hole over here, and this is where I, I keep music that I use fairly frequently. I have books that have a lot of different repertoire in them, a lot of varied things in them. Um, and so, um, you know, it's, it's stuff that I can go to pretty quickly um, to, to find good stuff. And, and there, there, <laughs> there, there's a lot in all the books that you see over there. I also keep my keyboard edition of the hymnal right there, and so that's what I'm gonna go to for that middle hymn that only had the chord symbols in there. So I'm gonna look through there and see if there's anything that's appropriate, and if I can't find anything there, then we're gonna go down to my office um, and see if I can find something there. Welcome to my office. Now, this is the repository for everything I have that I could possibly need at this church, but I actually spend very little time in this room. My, my, my true office is the organ console. That's where I spend probably 90% of my time in this building. So let me turn this camera around and give you the grand tour of the place. Now I'm going to say right off, this room is a bit of a mess. Um, I, I have always been a messy office kind of person. My parents are probably watching this video going, hmm, nothing has changed since he was in high school. And yeah, pretty much. Um, but this, this is where I, I keep all of the reference books that I use. Um, I'm originally from Pittsburgh. I'm a big Steelers fan. Um, and this is also where I keep my music library, which is in this filing cabinet here and this one over here. Um, and this is music that needs to be sorted. So the first place that I'm going to go is this filing cabinet over here. Um, I keep everything in alphabetical order with the exception of this top drawer I keep my collections in. And this is where I have things for different seasons of the church year, things for weddings and funerals. 
um, and stuff like that. And so I think I'm going to look and see if I have anything. Um, it's also, it's one of the easiest places to find things based on hymn tunes. So I'm going to start there and see if I have anything that will go with um, any of the hymns that we have for this Sunday. All right, so after about 20 minutes of searching through everything that I have, I came up completely empty for something based on any of the hymns that we have this Sunday. Um, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure there are plenty of pieces based on those tunes. I just could not find any um, in in the music that I know that is all hymn based. I'm sure there's probably in in this library I have. I'm sure there's probably something somewhere. Um, but it's getting late, and I need to get these pieces picked. So I decided to go the patriotic route. Um, so I have the first thing that I came up with. I have this patriotic suite by Charles Callahan. Um, this is three movements. It's a processional based on Eternal Father Strong to Save, which is the Navy hymn. It has an improvisation on um, O Beautiful for Spacious Skies. And then it has a theme and variations on the Star Spangled Banner. So I think what I'm going to do for the prelude, this the improvisation, the second movement, is um, it, it, it's very quiet. It's, it's a nice flowing piece. Um, I've done it before, and I, I really like it, and it's, it's a great prelude piece. So that's going to be my prelude. And then I decided to go, I came across my book of Sousa marches, um, which are always a ton of fun to play. Ignore the theater organ on the cover. Um, they're, they're a ton of fun to play, and um, I know that the congregation will really enjoy it. There are, let's see, let's see, there's six in here. I've played several of them. Um, so what I need to do now is I need to go up um, up to the organ and play through a couple of them and see which ones are going to um, come back to my hands the, the best for Sunday. So let's head back upstairs. Well, I've now played through four of the pieces in this book, and I've decided to go with the Washington Post for the postlude. Um, sounds like this. Oops, maybe a little bit more. So I'm not going to play any more for you right now because it's not ready to go. Um, so I'm going to get those sent off so that they can be put in the bulletin and then we can get the bulletin printed. So the next time I see you, it will be a different day and I will show you how I go through putting everything together for Sunday morning. This is actually where this video is going to end for today. When I originally recorded the clips for this particular vlog, I had intended to put both uh, my preparation work that I do, uh, choosing the music for the service, and then the actual work that goes into Sunday morning into one video. But as I was looking at the footage, the stuff that I do on Saturday in terms of actually practicing and preparing all the hymns brought this whole vlog to close to an hour. And there's definitely some that I'm going to cut out of it, but it was still going to make this video a lot longer than I really wanted it to be. So I'm actually going to end things off here, and then in a couple weeks I will do part two of this video and I will show you all the footage from putting stuff together on Saturday for the service itself. We'll go through the hymns and the prelude and postlude music, and you'll actually get to hear those pieces as part of that video, and it, it might be a little bit longer um, than this one is, but I, I think that you will really enjoy it, and I think you will be able to, to get a better sense of what I do if I break it up into two videos instead of one really, really long video, because I, I don't know how much time you have to, to sit around and watch me talk at you for long periods of time. So I figured this would be a good place to wrap things up. I hope that you have enjoyed this video today. If you did, please be sure to give it a like, leave me a comment, and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all of my latest posts. Be sure to follow me on social media, and if you'd like to help support the channel, I would encourage you to consider becoming one of my Patreons. You can find links to all of these sites down in the description. Thanks for watching. See you real soon.